What is up, watchers? Will here with a review, and today we are looking at episode 5 of Runaways titled Kingdom. So, let's start off with a spoiler ish summary. We get a flashback to Jeffrey Wilder, Alex's father, and what his life was like in prison prior to both Alex's birth and, seemingly, Jeffrey's release. Alex, having been kidnapped the episode prior, both Nico and Carolina are freaking out after the revelation with their parents and trying to figure out what to do and who to call. Gert and Molly arrive, and Nico manages to get the staff to function to follow Alex, it being revealed that Chase is actually sharing a rather tender moment with his dad, which is why he's not picking up his emergency calls or texts from the rest of the group. Jeffrey manages to assemble a crew to go back and retrieve Alex. They run up, guns blazing, and almost have the upper hand until Jeffrey's old friend turned enemy, Darius, has a gun to Alex's head and takes off. The gang catch up with Alex and all of them, save for Gert, use their newfound powers and tech to keep Darius at bay. One of the boys in the gang, Andre, that Alex injured previously is taken by Jeffrey and the pride seem to be using him as their next sacrifice. The gang elects to do the right thing and try and save the guy who just prior tried to kill their friend. Unfortunately, when they try to break into the Pride hideout, the Pride is nowhere to be found. Alex feels guilty, but Nico decides to calm him down with a healthy makeout session. The kids investigate the old hideout and trace the location of a camera to the Dean family compound. Andre ends up having been successfully sacrificed by the Pride. So the episode comes to a close as we see Alex storm off, Carolina having an outburst, Gert and Molly share a tender moment with Old Lace, and then two really key moments. Chase and his dad may have possibly built a time machine, and a mysterious figure enters the picture with an implied connection to Carolina and her mother. This episode was really good. None of the characters felt weak here, and this is the first time we really get to see most of the gang, except for Gert and Alex, use their abilities. Well, even Alex had his moments with the tech and tracing back the pride to their hideout. The moments between Chase and his dad were just very nice and sweet and heartwarming, and well needed, but with the time machine involved now showing us a future destroyed Los Angeles, what does that mean for the current? Although not all the parents show up, everyone they do show for the most part seems to be there with a purpose. You can see that the relationships are beginning to crack between the teens and the adults, and I think they may be setting up something for the future. There is a funny allusion to the comics where Alex states that he would never be bad like his father was, which is rather ironic if you know about Alex's twist from the comics. But I think that that path may be setting up for Chase with him and his dad seemingly getting closer. If I had to rate it, I would give it an 8.5. The show introduces more things, but it never feels urgent. It still feels focused on the main plot and still seems focused on the difference in relationship between the teens and the adults. It always gets me more invested, and as usual, the acting is very solid from the kids and still really good from the parents. But tell me what you think down in the comments below. While you're there, give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Hybrid Network. Also, consider checking out our website and Patreon for exclusive content. I'm Will, and I'll see you next time.